We've got a little Radio Shack enclosure here. Um, there's an LCD, which is uh, nicked from, uh, I don't know, some other device. A uh, rotary encoder from an old uh, Roland uh, synth. Um, three buttons taken from an Atari tape deck. Uh, MIDI in, uh, USB cable. Um, power reset, little LED, and a power cord. Um, you get to set the main output channel, how, whether you want to transpose it, uh, whether you want to play or mute, and any velocity scaling that you want to do. Uh, the parallel voice, let's tune it up seven half steps or a fifth. Um, and we're going to scale the velocity so it's not quite as loud, maybe bring it down to about 80%. Uh, the harmony track we're going to have rotate, um, and we'll leave that playing. We'll bring that down a little bit in volume, uh, and now we get to set the actual tuning. So um, well, it's kind of cool. Let's see. We'll have the first voice. It rotates between these four notes. Um, so this one we'll put down ten, down seven, knock this one down. Okay. So every time I play this note, it's rotating. I'm always hearing the C. Remember I tuned the parallel one up a fifth, and the third one, third note, is rotating between four notes. But it does that rotation but even if I transfer it. So let's say this is voicing number one. Now it's going to play voicing number two, but starting on E flat. Now it's going to play voicing number three, starting on G. And voicing number four. So it's doing the math on the fly pretty quickly. Um, playing two notes in, I'm hearing six notes out. Um, one, two, three, four. But I can get them out of phase. So this one is now doing two, three, four, one, and this one's doing one, two, three, four. And they just kind of randomly change. It's a bit like the Enigma machine. It depends on where you have the wheels started, before what code you get out. So let's see. Uh, the nice thing is you can save your patches here, or your tunings. It's almost like open tuning keyboard.